Hello, I'm Stefan Sewell, and I'm here to show you how to print your own playing cards. This is really a complex process. It's almost like accomplishing the impossible. In this case, I created these cards for a client of mine called Mind Tree. And I made a couple with faces and a couple with backs. And as you can see, it starts from removing the finish. You cannot print on a card that has finish on it. And magicians know that only professional quality bicycle cards are going to be workable for most good magic effects. So you have to take off the finish from a blank bicycle card. You can get blank back, blank face, or blank blank. In any case, you want that quality cardstock to start with. You take off the finish using acetone, and it takes quite a bit of acetone to remove the finish from these cards. You have to do it for quite a long time. Then, you'll see here on the right, the finished product is darker than the light colored one on the left, which still has its finish. This is the template. It uses double, or uh, removable tape, that is. And you place the card onto the removable tape. It has to be removable and then you run that through the printer. Now it took a long time to line this Microsoft Word document up with the template. That's a whole nother tutorial. But uh, once you've got that, you can take the art, put it in your file, and run it through the template from then on. You end up with a very professional card, but it will smear, so you have to spray it with fixative. Here we are printing a back onto a face card. So this time, instead of the face being printed, we're printing the back. In this case, we have the Eight of Clubs. So now we have to fix these uh, images so that we can slide the card without the ink smearing. And so we put it into a large paper bag, stick it onto some painter's tape so it'll stay put when you spray. And you're going to use Krylon Workable Fixative. It's the best one. And you just got to shake it a lot and spray it into the paper bag. Now you're going to do several light coats. And the amount of uh, spray that goes into that bag is quite a bit. You don't want to breathe it. So you have to be careful. It's uh, pretty intense. And then you take a hair dryer and you blow out the fumes and then you get the card close to the hairdryer and finish drying the card. Once the card is completely dry, you can rub the front painted or printed surface and it works like a professional playing card. It really makes a great impression on corporate clients. Close-up magic. There's my contact information. I hope you enjoy printing your own professional bicycle cards.